so folks. good. Appetite. I'm with you. I'm with you. Listen, the wings are so good, bro. You know how you get some fresh off the grease and you bite into it. Mm. You get that. Oh. It wouldn't even that because it would just oh, I gotta take it like and it was crazy after 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 me and him ate I ordered Miss Johnson came right mm-hmm. yeah. shout out to Miss Johnson man she going through a lot right now man, yeah. like, really up here, man. oh she is she on she on the way man so yeah. man I can't wait to see my girl man she's going yeah. through it man so yeah. We ain't gonna put a bit of that, but just know we praying for you, baby, and we love you a lot, man. Thank oh, you man. so much for being yourself. You are truly a blessing to us. And we strong, yes, strong. And Thank that you. That don't need to be. I can't wait till I talk to her, but y'all gonna feel so much different. You know, I, I heard from her earlier, bro. She sounded so. Um, she sounded so better than what she been sounding like the last couple weeks or the what? last week. Yeah, bro. You know, she she found it like she sounded like after talking to Ricky, talking to me, and talking to Reg yesterday. Like she had to realize stuff, so. and Ricky put stuff in perspective. Man, man. Well, he, he, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna, we gonna wait till, yeah, till, till I just want to say he put it in perspective for me, and I ain't have a dog in this fight. Me too, man. My was murdered on the first, July the first, and we buried him. They buried him on my birthday. Oh, so, man. Like this is a shaky time for me at this time, bro. So, like, I would never forget that I like, was down in Orlando, and so just dealing with that and just listening to what he was talking about with his son and stuff. Oh yeah, that happened not too long ago. Ricky Strong, man. Ricky the Goat, man. He is, bro. Hey, man. Ricky the Goat, bro. Man. Ricky Chris, Chris, is Chris, the goat. Everybody, man. that's I, I like. I can't imagine either one of them. Yeah, I, even with you, with you, you, with your situation, with your uncle, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. Man. So, but no, but no, it's it's been crazy for me though. Like you been going, I've been, man, it's been a lot. So, so, so it's my uncle. Yeah, man, man, my um, my, my uncle's wife, my auntie passed, and then my nephew and my niece's auntie just passed as well then i lost a, um, a friend of mine i went to high school with i remember you man it's, it's, it's just been a lot man and I, I i i can't make it about myself mm. yeah i know these people and like uncle ricky was saying you can't make it about yourself but you got to realize that other people going through it too. Mm. Yeah. And, and and other people are going to go through the same thing that i'm going through eventually one day but i can't make it about myself so you know um I'm, I'm just thankful for the times that I had with those people, and I can't be selfish and think like I think about myself. Like I said, man, like you said, I'm just I enjoyed my time with everybody. If it was a long period of time or a short period of time, yeah, man, I had to realize that like, I was taking care of my dad a few years ago, and he had been in the hospital for about I want to say a month before he told me like, "Hey, you need to come see." Yo, man, you know, you should get ready to go. And I'm like, what you mean? Like, I, that's what I'm talking about. You know, my old man, we good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't talk every day, but yeah, that's how we done had conversation. Good health, everything was good. Didn't have a problem. So, you see, I went to see him the next day. And they called me and told me. He just wasn't the same. And then I felt like for a while, because I held on for a while. And I had to, re- I had, I had to really, bro. How I had to meditate, talk to the person. I gotta stop being selfish. And I kept telling, like, I need you, I need you. Your grandkids need you. Uh, I need you here. And like, just looking at him for him not to be able to go on, and he, you know, he can only move his eyes at this time. And they sitting there telling me like he can hear you and all this other stuff, and, and I'm seeing tears come out of his eyes. And so it's like, bro. I'm gonna be like, I got to stop being selfish, man, and, and, and you know, think about him, what he's going through, how he wants his legacy. And if he come back any type of way, he's still going to be a man. Like, yeah. like, that's not him. <clears throat> so I had to realize, bro, and, and it made me feel like, well, dang, bro, you been, you really being selfish. And, you know, just talking to my people, and they were just like, you're not. Like, that's, that's, how can you not tell your dad that? Like, how can you not tell the man to raise you that? So I had to like I had to grow up a lot on that, bro. Because I had all the decisions to make with that. 
Dude, I all three of y'all when Miss Johnson come in, all three of y'all. For me, I couldn't imagine putting myself in those situations because, like, for you, my uncle is a huge part of my life. Mm-hmm. You, my dad is huge. You feel me? He was on the show not too long ago. Here, yeah. like, and then I can't even imagine my mom gone. You feel me? So to hear those perspectives, yeah, bro. Like, I I'll tell y'all something. Y'all strong. I'll tell y'all something. I have a call y'all and tell y'all that lady go the mind that brought me into this world. If you ain't got man, y'all better come find me. Y'all think I keep telling people that y'all think I'm playing. Y'all better come find me. I don't know what I'm gonna do without that lady, man. Yeah, that's so, my girl now. And that's the that's the first one I love unconditionally. You feel me? My daughter probably be next. So it's like. And then you get your perspective with your old man, bro. He the one. I'm the next him. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like I can't to hear those stories, those perspectives. I had nothing but respect for y'all still getting through it. You feel me? Having to be another day, but still giving honor to that. Like I, I none but respect. None but it. Yeah, and then, then it comes to perspective, like bro, like it, it's it's a lot of time I done spent with my with my peoples. Um, that a lot of people didn't have a chance to do yeah. with their own, you know, parents or like I've been very lucky to have a guy in my life that didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like he he didn't have to, and he did it, and he did it at a level to where it taught me um, that your kids, that the ones that you call. You know, your 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 little ones that you know that's yours. They're, they're everything. They're everything. I can give a damn about money. I can give a damn about you know uh, football without my kids. You know? Like as long as they doing good, as long as they happy, as long as they healthy, as long as they smiling, as long as they got a roof over their head, as long as they they can get up in the morning and say good morning, Dad, or we going to school, or what we eat today. Like long as I can hear that, long as I can see them, touch, feel, all that, I come good. Like it ain't nothing you can take from me that that can really hurt me other than my family. You get what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. but once once you got that, bro, it's as a father, I'm telling y'all, man, when y'all step into that fatherhood, bro, it's different. It's different. It sound different. And it's different. <laughs> and it's different when you have the opposite sex, right? You have like a daughter, it's different than raising a son because when my sons were older, if, if I would have had my boys right now, like mm-hmm. as, as they're as to me and Vera, as they're you know, they're 16 and 17, and 16, yeah, it's wrong. Well, it's be 17 and, and 15, and 15 and 16 right now, mm-hmm. going on, you know, figure it out to college. Like, my life probably went totally if I would have had my boys first in the way I think, you know, the way I do certain stuff, I'd have been totally different because. At the end of the day, as a man, you think, okay, naturally, boys are going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Boys are going to pick this up and pick that up, and they're going to learn a different way, and they're going to figure it out. From girls, like as a father, you hear a lot of girls be like, "Well, they got you know, daddy issues this and that." But for a girl, like if you during their life, you're, you're significant in you know, their decision making, and every day, the girls will talk to the girls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. my daughter's joke all the time. My older daughter said that she going on old folks home. <laughs> <laughs> Senior son, yeah, oldest one said that. Yeah, that's funny. I'm gonna tell y'all. I know we got to take a break. I'm gonna tell y'all about this. These birthday gifts that I got. Mm, not a damn thing. thing. <sighs> Man, your kids ragged. I'm sorry to say that. Man, and you That's got two great. up in here right now. It's B J. Especially that little one, he ragged. He just boosted his kids up. Man, bus. Oh, Man. Man. <laughs> y'all take the good with the bad, <laughs> and, and, and you know the bad with the good. You know, they good grades. They work hard. They clean up most. Sometimes when I ain't got to tell them, you know, beer is the them. one that be on top of that. Um, and it sound like she ain't get you none either. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say, listen, Beer, Beer, Beer is a sweetheart, bro. 
And I don't, and I'm still talking, you know, it's still stuff that you try to figure out about your kids as they get older because they're still into different stages, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm still trying to figure this out. Like, okay, are you, what's the next play for you? Are you doing this because, or are you doing this because you want uh-huh. to, you want something? Or you're, you're trying, trying to gauge out the motive. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to, but I, it's like, well, that's my, I don't want to put no motor on it because it's my child. Yeah. But I know with mine, I'll be something behind it, but I will say, man, Veer is very consistent, right? She's very consistent of, you know, keeping her stuff organized, 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 <laughs> organized <laughs> keeping her stuff clean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Uh, keeping the house clean, and when she do clean, she clean everything. She won't just clean up one part of it, right? That sounds that sound like a good woman there already. Yeah, already. Man, that sounds like a good one now. Hey, she, she, you she ain't got to worry about no issues with yeah, your daughter. She, she, yeah. she, she already got portraits in her room. Exactly. I need to come to the hospital and see what these rooms look like. Uh, I, I, mean, I, 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 I can only imagine <laughs> what them two over there rooms smell like. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all, man. But look, well, man, TJ ready to fight. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's, oh, he's, he's like, my real clean. He ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, I will smack him too. Ready, ready. We're going to take us a break, man. We'll be right back, man, with the Rose with TR3. has expanded in locations throughout Alabama. Egg Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch hours. In addition to festival demo writing, they offer a wide range of food and dessert, including cookies, bars, brownies, no, and entirely from scratch. Fresh natural ingredients. Merchandise in store, including every day, using home food items. There's something for everyone. They also offer Catering. Visit the website today at stop location. And I'm Danica Bourne. And, and we're, we're the owners of Thank you, Lord, for protecting us from evil. Psalm 91 states, He is my refuge and my fortress, for He will rescue us from every trap and protect us from deadly disease. South Coast Tax are Christian-based tax accountants and attorneys who specialize in releasing bank levies, wage garnishments, and filing complex tax returns. We are the leaders in acceptance of offers and compromise with awesome results. We are also a small firm. We'll treat you like family and not just a number. Call us today at 1-800-TAX-1176 for a free consultation, and we'll take the time to explain all the programs that you qualify for in order to allow you a fresh start. In John 836, so if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed, and one way we can achieve that is by being debt-free. So let us help you today. Call us at 1-800-TAX-1176, and together we can help achieve this goal by putting the IRS tax debt behind you for good. Walk On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads, all in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk Ons is available to go. Order online or through the Walk Ons mobile app. Visit Walk Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk On Sports Bistro, more than a restaurant. Excuse me, do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime at Alabama lasts 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting the at AssuranceMortgage.com. That's AssuranceMortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity, NMLS 70876. Call Chase Brooks at 205-612-4046. 
Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. Welcome back to the Rose with T. This right, this segment right here is gonna be real. Um, yeah, come on. Come on. Let me get into talking that. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna definitely build you up. I'm gonna build you up. Oh, tearing down a bit. Speaking of tearing them down, then come so when you strong. come over here too, then man, come on. Uh-huh. Go whatever's on the radio. What do you want? Because I know you want some of your Uncle Reggie food. I know like, you do. Jeez, <laughs> hey, he looking hard, too. Hey, man, eat all that Uncle Reggie. Oh, man, you can eat all that Uncle Reggie. I got you. Hey, my mind it. Listen, bro. You know me, you go your own food. Man. This is a, uh, my food come in and say, Dad, what that is? That- that ice cream with that butter. It looked like strawberry ice cream. It looked like strawberry ice cream. Oh, yeah, what are you? Oh, that, oh, that strawberry butter? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Hey, hey, metro. I know all about that. Yeah, it's the metro. That's strawberry butter. You ready, uh, nephew? Yeah. I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm about to pull it right there, right? I thought it was not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 hold on, my phone. Was it? Did they bring the syrup with the hot sauce? Mm. Man, they? look at that's the front, though. What is then? Um, yeah, the chicken smells good. That, that smells good. I said, What's good? Good chicken. I said, What do you want some of my food? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I ain't talking about the eggs, I'm talking about the chicken. Said, do you want some of my food? Uh, you had a chance to order all this right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead of doing that, yeah, like a female, that man, oh, oh, female, dude. yours look good. Yeah, yours look that good. Let me get some. I'm just gonna give you a little. Oh, you the worst person in the world. Oh, yeah, you uh, yeah. big attitude. Look, poked out and everything. Mm-hmm. Ain't my fault. <laughs> but that, that was like, I don't, I don't know if that's a pet peeve, bro, but this is a pet peeve for me. Because it'd be like, bro, you got a chance to order your own food. Why would you take something off my food? I remember I got called selfish. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, How? I'm paying I'm for it. For it. <laughs> I'm paying for it. Are you selfish? I see how you Wait a minute, I'm paying for your meal. Oh, I do women do that though, bro. Like that, that was a like well, that's why I'm entangled now. <laughs> wait a minute. Can y'all answer that question for me? Like, how, like, why do women do that? Like, why do y'all? We, we we sitting at a restaurant. We order something. We sitting in the bed. We order some some take back home. You got a chance to order your own food. Why do you order from y'all? Y'all y'all get y'all food. Then y'all order from our food. Mm. Y'all get y'all food. Then y'all order from our food. Make it make sense. And don't even ask. 
Well, listen, we gotta take another break. Y'all think about what he just said. That's fact. You order your food, but you order the amount from you. with your food that you're not going to eat. You're not going to eat all your food. I'm sorry, y'all. I had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> order a lot of food and don't eat it. You eat from my plate. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll be right back, man, with the ropes with PR three. Thanks for listening. Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Edgar's Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebration since 1998. What started as a small neighborhood bakery founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham has expanded to 10 locations throughout Alabama. Edgar's Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cakes, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch, using fresh natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in store, including everyday and seasonal home or items. Eggers has something for everything. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at EggersBakery.com or stop by a location near you. We might not be a big station, but we got some big mouths. W-Y-D-E. 96.5 WYDE FM Cordova, 1260 AM WYDE, 93.7 WDJC FM HD3 Birmingham, and 95.3 W237 EK Birmingham. Fox Mortgage, NMLS 184762. Jim Corey, NMLS 212055. Jim and his team at Fox Mortgage helped us to quickly purchase a house. Debbie shares her Fox Mortgage success story. We needed to do it. It was actually bought my father's house. He needed the money to continue his care. He's in an assisted living facility. We applied online and within a day or two, Jim called us. And it seems like probably a month or less later that we closed on the house. I would definitely recommend Jim Corey and Fox Mortgage. They helped us quickly buy the house, close on it. And he even went so far as to come to the where my father is. We sign all the papers there. Hi, I'm Jim Corey, president of Fox Mortgage. I'm ready to help you with your mortgage needs. Call now. One, eight, eight. Fox Mortgage, where we're quick as a fox. Walk On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads all in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk-Ons is available to go. Order online or through the Walk-Ons mobile app. Visit Walk-Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk-Ons Sports Beach Show. We're going to restaurant. Excuse me. Do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime in Alabama lasts 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting them at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity, NMLS 70876. Cold Case Brooks at 205-612-4046. At Mr. Sparking, we're America's on-time electrician. Flickering lights and hot be annoying, but they can also signal a major problem or worse, an electrical emergency. So play it safe and leave it to the experts at Mistress Berkey. We'll get it done hot and get it done safely. Go now. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capital Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Lynn in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Summerdale, Daystar in Wakaga and Clinton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. <laughs>
The Ropes with TR3. Two-time national champions. Three-time All-American. 2011 SEC Offensive Player of the Year. Heisman finalist. And Alabama's first Doak Walker Award winner with 49 touchdowns and 4,590 yards. Third pick of the 2012 NFL Draft to the Cleveland Browns. Also doing a stint with the Indianapolis Colts. Trent Richardson can do it all under the brightest lights. Uniting legends of the game to show you the road. Train your body and mind with former Alabama wide receiver, 2009 national champion, Coach Mike McCoy. Develop a championship mentality with two-time national champion, 2015 SEC Player of the Year, Super Bowl winner with the Chiefs, Reggie Ragland. Featuring king of the stage, comedian legend, Jermaine Funny Mate Johnson and 1992 national champion, Antonio Langham. You are your way out. Live from ABX Studios in downtown Birmingham, The Ropes with TR3. Welcome back to the room. We are free. You are at the hour. And then up there. There you go. All right, nice. I'm going to spill some of this on the table. I'm about to eat. It ain't that deep. It ain't that deep. It's a lot of funny places, right? Don't worry about it, we all. Don't worry about it. They asking like, Trent, where you get this uh, tiny food from? Don't worry about it, we all. I ain't gonna lie. I got me some garlic. Just for you. Then you got your little, got your little camel back over there. Mm. Mm. Camel home, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me well, me too. You don't realize how funny that movie is, though. Like. And there's an in the I'll get the idea for your birthday. Where's birthday? Hmm. On the spot. Yeah, I don't even know this. Hey, what you check? <laughs> what he got me ready? Got my dog. Yeah, man. Oh, what did you get for birthday? It was just yesterday. I mean, it's still going on for real. For real. <laughs> it's still going on, on for real. real. Ain't getting no hugging now. I mean, you got the air. You got the air. Right? What did you get there for birthday? I'm just like, why do y'all look so mad right now? Right? Why do y'all look mad? <laughs> y'all a bill. Why do y'all look mad and say, I'm right just a bill. <laughs> Only <laughs> a bill. <laughs> Sitting on Capitol Hill. Why y'all look like that right now? Y'all want to talk about it? Y'all want to talk about it right now? Man, what I do know is... Let me tell you about them girls. We can get the feedback. You can tell us if you got to do it or not. We're going to leave. What you got this weekend, man? Uh... A national, to the mic. Oh, a national sure. tournament. National tournament. Mm. What you gonna do? I'll play football. <laughs> oh, you boy, 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 boy. Smart boy. <laughs> <laughs> All these cameras around, boy. Hey, one more time. One more game. Up the air now. Up the air. Up the air. Up the air. 
that's what I do. <laughs> What you, what you gonna do? Well, I do. You, you winning? You're you going to touchdown? You're throwing them? Catch them? You're making tackles? I like sports, and that's it. I like sports. They just don't win. They just don't win. What more can I ask for? They just don't win. As long as you're not acting like baby Brock, daddy, we cool. Yeah, and the reason I say that, let me, let me, let me you say something. Yeah. The reason I say that, because everything you did as a player and as a person, mm-hmm. you will love that type of recognition for your kids that you have. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say it. Like you ain't gotta be extra like a lot of these parents are, but you figure your kids are freedom to be kids at the end of the day. We didn't get a chance to be kids and enjoy that moment. We just had to enjoy the moment but not be kids. So that's what I mean. Like you get to live through them when they not kids and kids. But you know what I'm saying? You get know what I'm trying to say, like that's yeah. what I mean. Like they ain't gotta do the most. They gonna you gonna let them be themselves, and and they and if they, and if they want that type of recognition, they are gonna put the work in and go get it. Because it was different for me and you at the time. You grew up a little different. Yeah. They 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 got a little bit more than what we had. I guess a little bit. I'm gonna say a lot. A lot of bit. It's a little bit through a lot of bit. Oh no. But they got a way more. A lot of bit. A lot of bit ain't word. But they got way more than we have. So. But that's a test to you and your hard work. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure every person that didn't have much growing up always said they want their kids to have more and have more of opportunity. Yeah. Which they do. But I'm just happy to see them. And that, like, because that's how I want my kids mm-hmm. when I eventually do have kids. I ain't got to worry too much. You just got to be a kid. Mm-hmm. And if you want that type of success, I'm going to show you how to work for it. I'm going to show you how to get it. But I'm gonna let you be a kid. I didn't have that luxury. That's right. I, I, I do give props for this thing. That's why I do see what you do. They are allowed to be kids, but you make it very much known, yo. If you want to get somewhere, you got to work for it. Period. And a lot of folks with recognition, or a lot of folks with that type of like, uh, in that type of placement, they don't. You don't see that same type of drive from them. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You don't see that same type of even humble. Like your kids know what they're gonna do when they're gonna have to do it. They all humble, dog. From I the like girl down to that little that that little <laughs> that little Tasmanian devil. Like all of them humble. And like I said, they all get to be kids. And every time you see them come in, they laughing, enjoying, key kids, everything. Yeah, I love I love that. You know that what is. I'm saying? Like they all get to be one big happy cute family. Why the sports? They ain't gotta play sports if they don't want to. And that's the beauty of it. But if they want to play, they can play. Oh, yeah. And you're going to show them how to play. And at an early age, like, for TJ to be the number one player in his class. It's crazy. Knowing who his dad is and knowing that they have, that lets you know he wants it for himself. He don't, he don't want his own. Like, he don't want to just live through his dad. Mm-hmm. And that's the beauty of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure he tell you all the time, I don't want to be better than you. Yeah. Yeah. He said, hell, he said, what you told Julio this weekend? Probably told him a lot. Wait a minute. That's the beauty of it. That's my pleasure. That's my boy right now. The walk up Hey, walk up to Julio. Hey, bro. Exactly. What did y'all enjoy about this weekend? It look like y'all had fun about that just being kids. Ray Sean, come here. What up, boy? What y'all enjoy about last weekend, man? When y'all, you know, with the with the football game, playing football game. <laughs> it was a lot, huh? He like, man, what I did? He a lot. Y'all got to see Julio. Y'all catching for that? He they got to tell Julio that his hands are better. Y'all back there playing with other kids. Got the clock sign. Y'all back there playing. 
That's one thing about kids. So they're going to find a way to play some type of football. With other they, kids. Yeah. With, it, 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 bro, oh, man, it, it kills me, bro, because I tell people all the time, a lot of hatred and a lot of all the BS is, is taught. Because them kids ain't no learning kids now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they just had a wonderful time. And I think that on the field, you know, dialing up plays, throwing bombs on y'all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you were doing? You know, I was just back there just dialing it up. That's it. Like that. And I'm sitting there talking to you. Yeah. I was dialing them up. I was playing. I, like, I'm calling all the plays on, on defense. That line back. And everybody with the dude come down. Then yeah. I go to offense and get the playbook. Hey. And, uh, I'm dicing them up, dialing them up. Now, y'all boy go work hard now. You want to go get it. Oh, boy, got a Columbia great. shirt on. That's my boy. Nah, man. I, I, this is the first time I got to see my kids. Like, man, now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're so used to being around me and being around. Like, hey, don't click. They see, yeah. Hey, your daddy knows. Some, some yeah, they got it on. They got it on both sides. You know, the Uso twins are yeah. fishy and stuff like that. So like, yeah. they're so used to seeing that type of environment. And your cousin got me back into wrestling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's one of them things where, like, I, I got excited. And it gave me butterflies seeing those kids. It was, it was so many different people that yeah. celebrity in their own right. That was there. Like, he's my best friend who put on everything. He played, he played football in the league, but he's also one, on one of the top shows in America right now, yeah. BMF. So, yeah, like just you know, see him and then um Julio and then a whole bunch of other people. So it was cool, man. Yeah, that sounded like you were lit. Yeah, bro, it was a good time, bro. Good crowd. Um, yeah, vendors, vendors out there, yeah, all types of food trucks. Everybody came out, man. They 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 showed up, bro. They showed I, up. That was fun. I can't lie. You mm-hmm. know, and I was happy to see you know uh, uh, Reggie and his element man, back at home, and, and you know. I got to see who Tupac was, man. I got to see who Pop was for a while. <laughs> I'm a different dude. Oh, we all are, bro. We all are. We, we, got, we all got, you know, some of the similar backgrounds, so different stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's so close to each other. It's, it's crazy. I appreciate y'all, man. Um, but it's, it's crazy. And, it, and, and that's what makes us brothers in, in the long run, right? When you first get to man, you first get to wherever you you know you work in you know family or to you know place to mm-hmm. um you built off of some of the similarities that you do that. There's also a sense of security, you know, when everybody looking out for you. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, man. It was every type of person there, business people, yeah, yeah, business dope man. boys, hood, you know, <laughs> hood dudes, hood boogers, all that over there. That's the hood boogers. But everybody look out for us as kids growing up. I can't say that about the new generation of OGs or whatever they call them over there now, but I know how yeah. growing up they tried to look out for us. Yeah. And get people away from us. That's well, the last the, degree, the, yeah. Yeah. And the good thing about it too, though, like when you have stuff like this, like nowadays, it don't go as planned, right? Mm-hmm. And I say it don't go as planned. Like we have been in a situation where they had my son was playing football and as soon as they got off the field, they went through homecoming court and he was a cheat. Like it's supposed to be all, you know, uh, when it comes to these little league parts, like it's supposed to be like, you know, all fair game. You know, it ain't right. no no beefing. And, you know, it's for the kids and you have to have fun. And, you know, you might take the bed and, you know, have fun with it. Like, but, you, know, yeah. the, you know, end of the day, like when it comes to the kids, or like the health of the kids, or the protection of the kids, you know, why would you, why would you bring a gun? Nah, that's not me. Not no mm-hmm. boy can hit. Lady got hit. He really he took the bullet for a child. Yeah. She got hit in her arm, you know, in her, in her behind. But she was out there with a six year old. So you can imagine how big the six year old is. You know what I'm saying? So you think about it like that, bro. Like, it's, it's crazy, man. How the world has a, uh, a totally different way from us growing up to where these parks is, you know, hey, it ain't none of that. Oh, these celebrity games, it ain't none of that. Um, and so that was my biggest thing to see, bro. Like everybody came together in the community. And there was a lot of family out there, and there was a lot of, you know. Everybody had tents and lawn chairs, they had coolers. Man, it, it, it truly felt like I was a kid again, like at a little league game. And, and I seen it in you, bro. Yeah, it just, it just felt like that, man. Like, I, 
I see a bunch of people, mamas and aunties I grew up seeing, man. Reggie is the only person I know have a phone on the I call Reggie, like, bro, where you at? I'm out here. I'm on the field right here. Where you at? I don't see you moving. I walk up, Reggie is already headed over to me to get a seat. On the phone. Like, why well, they got stuff going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I'm having fun with it. Like, oh, yeah. so like, even Unc came out there was coaching. Um, Langham. Coach yeah, Langham. Antonio Langham. And then a lot of people yeah. don't know the other coach, Rashad Moore, mm -hmm. from Huntsville, where I'm from, played at Johnson High School, went to the University of Tennessee, and played in the league a few years. Yeah, Pierre Goode out there. Too. Pierre, yeah, a whole bunch man, of It's crazy because all of them, Pierre Goode, Antonio uh, Langham, Kerry Goode. Kiara Goo, I was raised in the same house. And you wanna know what's crazy? They cousin played with me in high school. He played corner. Um then then the guy had the white long sleeve on mm -hmm. my team, played with me in high school. Yeah. All so, that come out of one household though. That's wild. Yeah, that's All of them went to the NFL. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I can't really do it, man. Yeah, man. Hey, listen, man, we gotta take us a break. <laughs> we gotta take us a break, man. We the beautiful, the mix, the one and only. We got Johnson Johnson in here. No, we don't need the oil. We don't need the oil. We need to do the baby pop. I am back. Yeah, we're going to catch up. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. Too. Don't you do that. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't notice, and I noticed him, and he's been laughing at me ever since. Um, you know, we'll be right back, man, with Miss Johnson. We'll be right back, man, with Rose with PR3. Live from downtown Birmingham, the road with R3. Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Acres Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebration since 1998. It started as a small neighborhood bakery founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham, has expanded to 10 locations throughout Alabama. Acres Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options. In addition to grab and go deli items, they offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch, using fresh natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in store, including everyday and seasonal home store items. Negris has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at extrasbaking.com or stop by a location near you. Hi, my name is Ryan Bourne. And I'm Danica Bourne. And we're the owners of South Earth Back. We would like to thank our Lord for acting us from evil. Psalm 91 states, He is my refuge and my fortress, for He will rescue us from every trap and protect us from every disease. South Earth Packs are Christian based accountants and attorneys who specialize in the of Thanksgiving, wage garnishment, and filing complex tax returns. We are the leaders in acceptance of offers and compromise with awesome results. We are also a small firm. We'll treat you like family and not just a number. Call us today at 1-800-TAX-1176 for a free consultation. And we'll take the time to explain all the programs that you qualify for in order to allow you a fresh start. In John 836. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. And one way we can achieve that is by being debt free. So let us help you today. Call us at 1-800-TAX-1176 and together we can help achieve this goal by putting the IRS tax debt behind you for good. Walk On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads, all in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk On's is available to go. Order online or through the Walk On's mobile app. Visit Walk On's in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk On Sports Bistro, more than a restaurant. Excuse me, do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime in Alabama lasts 20 minutes. 
Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting the at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity, NMLS 70876. Call Chase Brooks at 205-612-4046. I definitely felt uncomfortable smiling around other people. I had a big gap and it was pretty noticeable. The reason I didn't rush into getting braces right away was because I was afraid of how much I would be paying uh, with Birmingham Orthodontics. The lowest package they have is actually 125 a month. Um, now that I'm wearing braces, um, I've been able to not worry so much about smiling. I never thought at 20 years old that I would be able to afford getting braces. Visit BehamSmile.com to schedule a consultation at Birmingham Orthodontics. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. Welcome back to the road with TR3. Man, we got Miss Johnson. Studio Miss Johnson, what's going on? Hey, everybody. Everything's well. Yeah. It's, it's been a road, but I'm back. Mm-hmm. Um, life goes on. Of course, most of you all know my mother passed away on the 4th mm. of July. Um, difficult. Um, but today was her celebration. And I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all I feel so good, um, after talking to y'all uncle last night, when, when he said what he said about perspective, two windows, them two windows, Reggie, y'all don't know how much of a blessing that was for me. So my journey along with my mom passing, um, of course, it was unexpected, um, and we ran into some financial issues with that. Um, however, um, I think the love that mom has put into her four girls extended out to where we got the support we needed to give her a very nice um, celebration today. And so uh, those of you who you are that donated and, you know, with your hands or your time or, you know, monetarily, um, we thank you so much for that. But after last night, you know, I um, was invited to our, by the way, it is Woodlawn Week. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Woodland. 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 It is Woodland Woodland. Week. Definitely. Go Colonels. That's okay. Hey, we need I to pull up that, that picture now. they pulled up I could at the show. Oh, my gosh. That is not even fair. So I don't know who did that. Well, I don't think, no, it was not a good, it was not good. Yeah, they, he was he's a, he was he was a, he was an alumni. He went to school there. No, he ain't go there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ripping at the plans no, So we were at the comedy show. It was I'm sorry, karaoke with Ricky Smiley. He also still. hosts that. Yeah, it was funny. Um, but after the show, he actually took me to the back. Um, and that's my spirit. It's 71 years on earth. Mm. You know, he told me, you know, and that in one window is about you. In one window is about you and your your loved one. And and but in another window, you got someone that lost someone very similar. Not that nobody's pain is greater or lesser, but in the other window, you got people who don't even get but 15 years of their mother's life. Mm. I was blessed with more. And so, hold on, what you saying like that for? I ain't even right. I know we're talking to Trent. Trent, because I was like, wait a minute, dog. 
But uh, with that being said, um, it, it did kind of shake me up a little bit this morning. I did have a meltdown this morning because today was the day. So, you know, to see someone so precious, so gifted, so talented, so loved, so wanted, um, you know, to to really come to terms with that, that will never exist again physically. Um, I had a meltdown, um, but I bounced back and I thought mm -hmm. about what Unc said, and Unc is Ricky smiling, and if he's out there, I just want to personally thank you for that message, because it really got me through the day, and it's something I'm going to care. I actually had to share that with my sisters, and everybody kind of straightened up. Like, mm -hmm. it was something to really think about. What's your thought on that perspective, Reggie? It, cause when he was like the two perspectives of Windows, is you and it's everybody else, and they gonna go through something similar, like you said. But the thing about it, though, when he was like, "Your mom lost her mom, and her mom yes. lost her mom, and we're all gonna go through that eventually," you know? Yeah. Just like my dad lost his dad, then my granddad lost hit my great granddad, you know. So, and then when he was when he also said, "You only get fifteen years with your with your with your mom or your dad." I'm blessed. I'm 29. Mm. I'll be 30 this year. I didn't double it. Yes. So for me to be able to get that, and at that time, because my mom is older, my mom's 71 too. So for me just to get this time with my mom, I can't be selfish. Like it, I, I can't even like me being back home. You know, I live in Texas, but me being back home these last few months, man, it's just been good to be with her. Mm. Like. When I get around her, she always want to hit a blues. I, I turn my blues playlist, and we get to going in that thing, cheating in the next room, hey. and we and we just get to going. You know, we went down to my um my uncle's wife's funeral for two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and that's how we played that morning on the way down there, just a the blues. She was like, "Hey, can you turn on that song by um what's the name of that song, boy?" Oh, that's how she just kept saying, "Um," oh. and I already knew what song. She was talking about and showing me and then i and then to see her face just glow man and like that that does it for me you know mm -hmm. like me and my dad relationship it is what it is we trying to get better still rocky but you know we it is what it is but like i've, I've tried to because i had a conversation with my my grandmama about it and and i was like my grandma i just i've always I hate how our relationship is. Cause like that was my guy. It's still my guy. Don't get me wrong. No matter how angry he gets at me, I, I get with him. I can't be mad because if, if it weren't for him pushing me and instilling all the values of mental toughness and understanding how people gonna be, and he always told me, I'm gonna be the hardest person on you. So you should be able to take it. Like I I'm gonna always respect a man like that. Like, I'll be mad, whatever. We all, I'm going to be mad, you know. But I'm going to always respect my dad, man. I, I would never try to just hurt him. Never. Yeah. Cause why? Because he always wanted the best in me. Your parents get angry, get mad at you, but it's part of it. Mm -hmm. but I love my dad, man. And I hope he knows that. Sincerely. I hope he truly knows that. So. But, and, and, and really, I think y'all bump heads. Because I've seen your, and I've seen your, your pops and been around on the Cruise and stuff with it, and y'all act just alike. Bro. I know <laughs> y'all is just y'all. Listen, when it's time, his his tipper is up in the body. He ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. <laughs> he, he can't. He, he, can't. he, he ain't you're, going you're, nowhere. You're, you're, you're him. He ain't, he ain't gonna never go nowhere. No matter how angry or whatever we get at each other, he ain't gonna never go nowhere for me. It, like I said, from the time I was uh, born. I was with him. With him. Like, I love my mama. Don't get me wrong. You know, mama hung out. But me, it ain't hang out like me and my daddy did. Like, my mama would work. Me and my daddy would be in Florence on the west side. Posted. <laughs> me and him. I'm not. I mean, it's, it's yellow canary Cadillac. And it's so crazy to hear y'all's story. But we are my, uh, a lot of people. Like, mm -hmm. And my oldest daughter. Like That's what I'm saying. Like I, like I took my older daughter with me, no matter what. From eight, 
they one of my sons. I would have said I took them with me every day. And my son, my son was born in Cleveland, but he's from really Alabama. For real. Mm -hmm. Being in Florida for a little bit, but because I'm there doesn't because I'm from there doesn't mean he's from. There. Right. Uh, but he's uh, like from when he was two. He was moving around with me, like, training. And he's the only three year old. My brother told me this the other day. He was talking about his son and all this other stuff. But, and he was just like, man, it's so crazy because he just is the exact same person as Darius. And that's, that's my nephew got, you know, murdered and mm -hmm. stuff. He's like, bro, I knew T. He said this himself. He said, man, I knew TJ was going to be different. When he ran 13, 110 until he was three. And mm -hmm. he didn't stop. And so just to think about it, like I had his son doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so, but like we was, like we was always together. I mean, and, and I mean, just like, y'all don't never see me without my kids. If y'all do, I'm be in there for a little bit and I'm in and out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and you know, to hear y'all relationship and to see the love that comes from you when you're talking about him, man, it's big, bro. Like a lot of people don't have that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't say that, man. And that's I like, had a chance to sit there and get mad with my dad. Like I never knew my biological love like father growing up. I met him three times in my life. So to think about what Ricky said last night about mm -hmm. your mom, about <clears throat> his son, like that's mm -hmm. that man, listen. What he said about his son. I, mean, I know we gotta take a break. Well, uh, listen, we're gonna get into that on the other side because Ricky had left us with a powerful message last night, man. Yes, he did. Yeah, I think it, it it revamped a lot of stuff for me uh, mentally and, and uh, where I want to be, where I want this show to be, where I want my kids to be, um, relationship-wise, mindset-wise, um, and, and stuff that I know I got to straighten up on. I mean, he, Ricky always straightened us out no matter what. It ain't never been a time when, when me and Red said to him, Ricky, um, either we was together or by ourselves, that he ain't give us a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Every time, man. man. And he on this. On it. Every time. I yeah, told y'all last night, though. That yeah. was told y'all last night. I took the notes. I need to pull them out. <laughs> I, I took them, too. So. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's share them notes. But um, listen, we're going to come right back, man. I'm going to show y'all uh, the message that he shared with us last night. And that hit me kind of hard, man. Uh, you ain't got to let it go by. Listen, yes, man. he yeah, did. Man. Man, like, I ain't gonna lie. I sure wanted to ask him, is y'all okay? Because he always tripped. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be right back <laughs> with the roast with tea. All three. <laughs> Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Eckridge Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebration since 1998. It started as a small neighborhood bakery founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham has expanded in locations throughout Alabama. Eckridge Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options in addition to grabbing go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch, using fresh, natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in store, including everyday and seasonal home decor items. Eggers has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at eggersbakery.com or stop by a location near you. Fox Mortgage, NMLS, 184762. Jim Corey, NMLS, 212055. Jim and his team at Fox Mortgage helped us to quickly purchase a house. Debbie shares her Fox Mortgage success story. 
We needed to do it. it we actually bought my father's house. He needed the money to continue his care. He's in an assisted living facility. We applied online, and within a day or two, Jim called us. And it seems like probably a month or less later that we closed on the house. I would definitely recommend Jim Corey and Fox Mortgage. They helped us quickly buy the house, close on it. And he even went so far as to come to the assisted living facility where my father is to sign all the papers there. Hi, I'm Jim Corey, president of Fox Mortgage. I'm ready to help you with your mortgage needs. Call now, 661-6868. Fox Mortgage, where we're quick as a fox. Birmingham Christian Family Magazine shares good news online at BirminghamChristian.com and is free at places all around town. Visit BirminghamChristian.com, find a copy for a location near you. This month, discover great educational resources for your family. Read how God is at work in our community. It's local events and giveaways like the Barons and Alabama Adventure. Oh, Birmingham Christian Family is free each month thanks to our advertisers. And use their service. You need them. BirminghamChristian.com. Walk on Sports Beach Road puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Look into their mouth water and make from scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. All in front of 70 plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk on is available to go. Order online or through the Walk Ons mobile app. Visit Walk Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk Ons Sports Bistro, or their restaurant. Excuse me, do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes. 12 minutes. Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime at Alabama lasts 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting them at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity in MLS 70876. Call Chase Brooks at 205-612-4046. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Summerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. Welcome back with the road with CR3. Man, we was talking about uh Ricky Smiley message to us last night. You know, he he said something last night that really caught my attention. And it's almost to a fact to where you almost forget about he went through this, right? Mm -hmm. Um him and his family. He lost his son not too long ago. And and as crazy as it sounds, the next week after he lost his son. No, no, the next week, no, the next day, a, a, a few days after, he he came and sat down with us for our first mm -hmm. he show did. He did. at a public spot yep. at walk And um, And you cannot tell that he was going through anything. Like, and he was just a regular aunt, you know, he, you know, he was giving us life lessons, but he was laughing. He wanted to hear our stories. He wanted to see how everything was going, you know, and he. He was uh, he criticized you know stuff that we need to work on, and he he told us like hey y'all need to you know do such and such and blase blase, uh, be limited to your time and you know stay stay in line with everything you know don't go off subject don't talk over each other stuff like that. He was telling us how you know Brad be at the house you know she's pregnant which she just had a baby boy congrats to Brad. Congrats Brad. Woo. <laughs> they were joking on her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <Creepy> <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> um, It was powerful though 
Trent, because when he was talking about his son, I remember something. And I don't know if y'all remember this, but he said he, when he put those perspective windows up, mm-hmm. it cut his tears in half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It cut his tears in half. And that's when he was explaining you have to be grateful for what you had because somebody else's situation could totally be a lot worse than yours. Ooh. We met somebody who whose son got killed, stabbed nine times. They jumped on him. And, yeah, yep. and then the lady lost her mama and, uh, and sickly. Right. When, of course, my mom was unexpected, healthy. And I could never forget my mom. We always tell us that she didn't like pain. She didn't want to suffer. So she didn't want to get hurt or die in a fire. And she didn't like water. So she didn't want to drown. The way she wanted to go was in her sleep. And she said it for years. And it happened July 4th. Yeah. Last talked to my both of my sisters between 10 o'clock on 3rd to about 2 o'clock on the 4th. By 10 o'clock, that was it. And, and, and that's crazy that that you you say that about your mom about you know her wanting to go to sleep and you know she didn't want pain and stuff like that. So my 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 grandmother's mom, Veronica Knight, when she when my granddad passed, which is Solomon Knight, um, when he passed, right, my great granddad, um, she would take her stool and sit by uh, the the front screen door, and she'll let the sun being down there. She'll take it. And she'll be outside, you know, right in front of the door. And I will always wonder, like, grandma, why, why are you, like, why are you uh, sitting at the front door? And I had asked her one day. I don't know what encouraged me to ask her, but I asked her, and, and she was like, uh, I'm just waiting on, waiting on the boss to take me, baby. Mm. They say older people know. <laughs> Man, that's crazy you said that because my, my granddaddy stood up in church like a week before he died and said he going home so mm-hmm. and then like a week later he died in a car accident mm-hmm. and my grandma was in that same car accident she broke her hip some other stuff but she ended up being okay coming out of it but I tell you what, man, the strength that older folks got is is crazy. It's bro. different. Cause me, I ain't got no strength. Cause when I went to my granddaddy wake, I was the last one to go. Like I was the last one to go. I got everybody had left. My cousin cut my hair at like seven o'clock that night. And my aunt and my uncle that died, and my auntie had to come back up there. Cause as soon as I seen him, I dropped. Mm. Hmm. I dropped. Yeah, it's something yeah. it's something else I learned through Ricky's stories and her his inspiration that he was giving us all. Um that word suffering. Hmm. Um you know, I I was riding down the street the other day. I don't even know what I was doing, but I was in the car and George Floyd came to mind. And and when I mentioned it, I was like, I didn't no, I don't know if was it I don't know who I was talking to, but when I could see him literally suffering and the words he called out were three letters, his mom. And it stuck to me because my mom didn't suffer. But when I run into issues that I'm possibly going to have as I live, I won't have her to call. So the moments and the time that I've had had with my mom, that's what I'm holding on to. You know, um, she didn't suffer. And as I live, I just want to be able to share that same connection with my own kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want them to have to, you know, now I'm still going to be mama. You know, they 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 going to do what I tell them and do right, you know. But when they run into those hard times, I'm, I'm just a phone call away, that kind of thing, you know. And I'm just grateful my mom didn't suffer. Um, <clears throat> people will tell you right now, those who know my mom, the look on her face today. Um, of course, I had to do her hair, had someone come in to do her makeup and all that. My mom was 
peacefully sleeping. <clears throat> the same way she left is the same way she looked. Um, and that mean a lot. Even the person that, you know, and forgive me the, for those who can't really handle this, but I think it's something that we need to talk about um, in, in all of our cultures, especially ours. But death is inevitable. We're not going to get past it. OK, the only thing you can't run from, <laughs> you know, and so I was talking to the guy that actually embalmed my mom. He's seen so many people, even the funeral director, the, the counselor that was walking us through the process. She even said, they both said that they've seen, because people die every day, right? And they've seen what people have suffered because it's a wear and tear. It's a look that your body has. My mom's skin was flawless. No blemishes. Nothing. And that does my heart so good because the people that came out to support us is what my mom was about. And I think that speaks a testament to her. Inside of her casket, it did say, may my work show you what I've done. And I think what made my heart glad was to see everybody come together because my mom was about people. She was about caring. She was a teacher. I'm an educator. I know it was like free before a little bit of the club and that thing. So (laughs) it was packed. Oh. It was so packed. I don't think our building was big enough. Um, well, you know when it's you already know. You already know. Okay, we so were on time though. I'm glad y'all was on time, but we gotta speak about this hygiene. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, I didn't want to say this while she was talking. You said you were riding down the road. No, I was wondering was the same road that you hit that cat. Never mind. Oh my God! I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> I was good. Right. I was my like, bad. Let's go. Go ahead, Rich. Go ahead, Rich. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, uh, I can't. I don't really want to go there. Hey. Hey, we can't my take kid. none serious, including me, because well, me and my my brothers, we laugh. My family, I'm we just laugh at everything. You, you know what I'm saying? Like even at my at my <laughs> auntie funeral. But we laughing at everything. So like yeah. my auntie was Korean. And so you know he was the preacher was speaking in Korean. And then some lady was talking. Man, look here. <laughs> Have you ever been to a funeral and somebody read a poem? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I swear that poem was, was 15 minutes long. <laughs> oh, spe- and we and we got and man, everybody was in that thing looking like. Y'all counting stanzas? What? <laughs> was, did she speak in a different language? She was Korean, man. So I'm saying, well, but, but, but hold on, but this is the thing: it was a couple of different preachers. It was another guy, and another guy. The main preacher, he he spoke Korean, and then it was a lady. <laughs> anytime, every time he spoke, she would read off what he said. Yeah, mm. yeah. and it, and it took longer than normal. You know, usual translation. You, you know, black folk, we get in and get out. We was in there sometimes depending. depending you know, how, it depends how that preacher preach. <laughs> well, my know. mom's was a gray size, so we can stay out there too long. Uh, yeah. But but so. it was it was still wonderful to see her friends. Her brother came from Korea to the funeral. So it was it was it was still wonderful just seeing everybody come there for her. But it was different though, having somebody to speak English and somebody to speak Korean. And then they sang Amazing Grace in Korean, and they sang it in English. English. Oh, that's crazy. I just want to say it's different in Korean. Okay. <laughs> it was it was cool. Don't get me wrong. It was different. Okay. Yeah. I ain't hit that. Amazing but you got to hear it. I'm not even going to be like funny. That, right? <laughs> None of that. Shout out to my uncle. Shout out to How uncle. How strong he was. That's, that is something I want to give y'all. And Man. since you back in, like you said, I, older people strong. I said, I said it earlier, but mm-hmm. since you in, I want to make sure I say it again. For all four of y'all, I'm gonna include Ricky in this dude. I could not fathom it being in those positions, and then I see you guys still do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I didn't expect you to come in today. No, yeah. I, I was like, he, he said, "Wait a minute." I was like, "Wait a minute." Yeah, <laughs> I'm and here. Then, with you, Man, you came in because it's, it's, it's crazy because she's been trying to come into the show. 
I've been trying wow. to get her so, a break. Like, so, oh. so here's the thing, though. It's almost like what else is you can't change yeah. anything that happened. And you <laughs> taught me this: the more energy you spend on something, you know, so you have to keep moving. And when you understand the gift that God has placed on your life, mm-hmm. when you understand your purpose in life. Doesn't mean you can't hurt. Doesn't mean you don't go through pain. Doesn't mean you don't can't cry. You just have to keep going. And that's that's my I have kids I have to live for. I got sisters I have to support. You know, my dad is still those who are still here, we still gotta love. We gotta move forward. And so i I think that's that mom in me. My mom <laughs> is in me. And and I planned on doing her continue the good work and doing good. How is Pop doing? He's fine. You know, my mom and dad were divorced, but letting him tell the story, he's been in our life. He came running just like everybody else. And his current wife, she was there as well. Like, and that's the thing about um, mindset, maturation, and maturity. Like, you, you don't, when a relationship doesn't work, be okay with it. Right, and, and, and that's something we learned from Ricky the other night. That right? is, it was like, man, the first thing I did, I went to Atlanta and sat with his mom and told you, Whatever you need, I whatever got you need, you. I got you. She, she, he sure, like, man, I don't know how I made it to the airport, I don't know how I made it down that hall, I don't know how I got in the elevator. It felt like I was floating. You're like, bro, I don't know what I had. Somebody on. had to escort him, yeah. Like, it, 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 I can't. Parents are not supposed to bury their kids, that's what I believe. And if they have to, man, you got you got to be strong. Cause mm-hmm. like I didn't even get this. <clears throat> so I grew up with a guy named Tyrese Thompson, freshman at Alabama, died in a car accident. Mm-hmm. One of my closest friends in middle school. A year later, exact, I lost my best friend, Dez. We play LSU, and what's crazy. Dad's mama just hopped on this line. Oh, wow. All right. And I've never, like, I, I've experienced death with my grandma, but I've never experienced it to the point somebody I was so close with. Like, I remember I, was, I called my boy Levi Randolph dad. I said, man, is this really? He said, yeah. Instant hung up on the phone. I swear to God, <laughs> to this day. I read back in my room and hit the door so damn hard. I had to go take a test. I don't even remember taking the damn test. Yeah, that's, yeah. One of the and that's one of the, I, I can't even lie, man. That's that dude, though. One of the closest people I ever had in my life. Like, well, that's, that's the true definition of a friend, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, for real. Like, he truly had my back and I had his. Like after he died, I, I normally go on the first person I call. That's, that's one of the reasons why I don't even go home no more. Mm. It's hard, it, it's especially nowadays, bro. It's hard to call people friends, right? And, and I, I don't really do the friend thing like I that. don't either. I don't use it lightly. Yeah, I don't use that friend word like that. Um, mm-hmm. I lost one of my best friends. I think it was my hey, sophomore year in college. I think of my sophomore year going to my sophomore year it was after the next championship game, my freshman year. And I remember just seeing, I had just seen Tori. And on to my, we grew up from Little League to regular school to, you know, we, we all grew up around each other and all this other stuff. And he had just had a baby. And somebody from my hood killed him. Mm-hmm. Left him in the car at Food World. Car still running and everything. And I get the call, and I I just couldn't I couldn't take it. I just seen like I had just seen I came home for right before spring football. I had just seen him. We were just talking. He had just came and seen me. He was telling me about you know all the stuff he was doing with the music and pushing these little league teams and helping the folks out and stuff like that. And all uh, I had just seen Tori. Next thing I know, I hear something about Tori. He's gone. Like it, it's crazy, man. It's my get to the league. And this is when I was in Indianapolis. My cousin, which is was like one of my best friends, right? 
Mm -hmm. My cousin got killed from his friend over dice game. And same hood. And it's just like, bro. That sound like Lil Snoop. Yeah. You're back at home, shoot dice with your friend. He over, over dice, man. Yeah, a couple of dollars, man. But a lot, a lot of stuff don't be worth it, man. But I think Ricky put a lot of stuff in perspective for us last night. And I appreciate and, and the encouragement that he gave us, and especially for you. I know this is yeah. you know, it, it's tough. Like, I know it is for you. Uh, I know we'd have been on the phone a few times, and you kind of you know, broke down a little bit, and you get right back to being goofy and all those other stuff. Uh -huh. I, I got to say one more thing. Yeah. Go ahead, Rick. When he said... On the way to the funeral, oh, yeah. his son, yeah, closed. Yes, he stopped at the Salvation Army and served others just to let God know I'm still serving you amongst everything I'm going on. Yes, I'm going through it. Yes, home, bro, like that. That was that was big, right? That was regardless, big. What, regardless, I can't think of myself. I'm going to serve you regardless of what I'm going through. I know we got a minute left, but. That really hit home for me, especially going through what I'm going through. I ain't gonna lie, I haven't been serving him like I should. And as a man, I can admit that. But I promise you, all that's gonna change. Amen. That's good. But listen, man, we done had a great show today. Miss Johnson back in studio I'm with us. Red, we back in studio. <laughs> <laughs> Nephew, man, listen, man, y'all can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, Spotify, Diamond Insider with the Roast with TR3. We'll see y'all tomorrow. WYDE. Live in downtown Birmingham, the Roast with TR3. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J &J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Summerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. 92.5 WYDE FM Cordova, 1260 AM WYDE, 93.7 WDJC FM XD3 Birmingham, and 95.3 W237 EK Birmingham. The Shelby County School acted as a movie set for Matthew McConaughey's next film. This is Stuart Newsom with your Crawford Media News. The Church of the Highlands.